The TIB series of power supplies from Traco Power are high efficiency, high reliability, DIN rail mounted supplies that are optimized for industrial uses. We've got two examples here today. The supplies come in versions providing 12, 24, and 48 volt outputs with four power levels covering 80 to 480 watts. But the examples we have today both put out 120 watts on their 24 volt DC outputs and can provide five amps of current. One of these units is what's called an EX designated for hazardous location requirements with UL HASLOC Class 1 Division 2 approval, ATEC certification, and it extends the standard warranty from three to five years. Except for the HASLOC approvals on the EX versions, all TIB supplies have the same electrical and mechanical features. These supplies mount on a DIN rail, as you can see with our little demo here, but they also have a screw hole on one side that accepts the plastic DIN rail clamp and lets them be side mounted for applications where there isn't much room. We'll start our review of the TIB supplies with a look at their front panels. This is a typical dead front design with no live electrical connections that you can touch that most industrial controls adopt nowadays. The three input terminals, L, N, and earth ground, are at the bottom of the supply. The plus and minus output terminals are at the top. These 24 volt output versions are adjustable from 23.5 to 28 volts DC via an adjustment screw on the front panel. Also on the top are two terminals that provide relay output that close when the output is energized. It's meant to be used to enable a remote indication that the supply output is powered up. These supplies are energy efficient. Trico says they typically operate in the 90 to 95 percent efficiency range depending on the output voltage and support a full load temperature range of minus 40 to plus 60 degrees centigrade with no derating and up to plus 70 centigrade with only a 20 percent derating. What that means is they can run cool though they are strictly cooled by convection. To illustrate what that means we've hooked up a dummy load to one supply and we put a current meter in the output line that shows we're drawing about 5 amps. And our oscilloscope display is showing a 24 volt output. So you can see the supply is putting out a power level close to its 120 watt maximum. Thanks to our spot thermometer, we see the dummy load is heating up and giving us a kind of toaster oven effect here in the studio. But when we aim the spot thermometer at the TIB supply, we get a reading not much higher than room temperature. There also don't seem to be any hot spots on the supply. That's the advantage of high efficiency. These supplies also can supply 150% of their peak power for up to four seconds, a feature that comes in handy for inductive loads such as solenoids or stepper motors. And they have a back power immunity feature that prevents the supply from malfunctioning when decelerating motors or other inductive loads feed power back to the supply. We can simulate the 150% peak power operation. Now, 150% peak power for these particular supplies means they can put out 7.5 amps at 24 volts and do it for four seconds. Something that puts out 7.5 amps for a few seconds is a relatively big inductive load, uh, bigger than anything we've got available for our demo. But we can generate the overpower condition manually by switching a, a low ohm power resistor into the output for a few seconds using a push button connection. When we do that, you can see from our oscilloscope across the supply output terminals that the supply holds regulation. And according to our current meter in the output, we're pulling close to seven and a half amps when the push button closes. Finally, we'll point out that the supplies come with standard safety approvals for IEC ENUL 6950-1, the CB report, and our UL 508 listed. These are international standards covering the basic safety and performance of electrical industrial equipment and controls for electric motors, plus the hazardous location approvals on the EX versions. We should also mention that the TIB series has a calculated MTBF in excess of 1 million hours according to the IEC 61709 standard. And with that, we are out of time. Get more information about the TIB series at eeworldonline.com or tragopower.com. Thanks for watching.